2024 picking up where 2023 left off, a year of violence and smashing grabs. The crimes affecting children, families, and businesses. Our Shay Simon looks back at 2023 and the shocking crime data. She joins us now live from downtown. Shay, what do you know? Yeah, Greg, these numbers really hit you when you realize that these represents people's family members who have died due to senseless gun violence and also businesses that today are still picking up the pieces after these burglaries. Through the cracks of crime in 2023, Memphians celebrate a new year of hope. We are Memphis and our future depends on what we do right now. 2023 ended with a drastic jump in homicides and murders. Hundreds lost to violence. Join us tonight are the parents of Tyree Nichols. Welcome. <laughs> Graphic video was released showing the violent arrest of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. Protest and reform brewed when Nichols died three days after he was beaten by Memphis police in a traffic stop. All five officers were fired and charged. It's a little unsettling, but it, you know, I love my city, so it just makes me want to pray harder for my city. According to MPD's Data Hub, there were hundreds of carjackings and nearly 2,000 robberies. This year, we have averaged about a homicide a day. We see more guns on our streets now than we've ever seen in the history of the Memphis Police Department. Well, as we know, Mayor Paul Young has reinstated Chief C.J. Davis. So, Greg, many people are just hopeful that this will be a much less violent year ahead. Live in downtown Memphis tonight, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3. We'll pray that's true, Shay. Thanks. You mentioned.